But you guys got another video are mechanical hard drives still worth buying in 2023 or even 2024 here you can see we have a western digital six terabyte hard drive here and these can go up to 20 terabytes which is a lot of storage but they are pretty slow and compared to an ssd which is something like this they can be much faster than your mechanical drive but are ssds replacing hard drives and when will hard drives ever become obsolete that's what we're going to be talking about today here we have an m.2 nvme drive and this is a super fast nvme drive compared to the ssd drive now you can get the sata variants of these as well which will be uh, just as fast as your ssd but the ssd is faster than your mechanical drive and also your NVMe drive is faster than both of these drives. So there is a difference though. The pricing for storage on the mechanical drive is a lot more affordable than it is on the NVMe drive and also on the actual SSD. So while your computer may not have a hard drive anymore and you may not have any plans to change that in the near or distant future, hard drives still play a part in today's world. Now, SSDs have the speed of IOPS and hard drives have the capacity that the SSD doesn't have. Also, the price point for the SSD will not match the hard drive for many years to come. Now, you can take a look here at the Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte is £93.99 for 4 terabytes of storage. You're only getting 5,400 RPM and a 256 megabytes of cache. It's nowhere near as fast as an SSD or even anywhere near as fast as this particular drive, which is your crucial P3 Plus, which is a 4 terabyte N.2. PCI Express Gen 4, which is 4,800 uh, reads and writes on this particular drive, compared to a really slow speed like this one, which is going to be in the region of 100 plus uh, reads and writes. So you're not getting the speed with the actual mechanical drive, but you do get that storage. And as you can see here, this is an 8 terabyte drive, which is £138.99. And to have an equivalent of an SSD, compared to this would be absolutely astronomical when it comes to pricing so hard drives aren't going anywhere anytime soon now your particular type of setup back in the day was a ssd and a mechanical drive for all your storage like your uh, games and stuff like that but now we've come to the point of having say an ssd nvme and also two of those maybe on there for storage and for your windows you've got a particular type of drive here which is an ssd from samsung and you can see compared to the crucial p3 plus 4 terabyte this difference is not in price but in performance the ssd is nowhere near as fast as the ssd nvme but once you go up into capacity as you can see eight terabytes here we do have that speed of 7000 megabytes per second for reads and 6100 megabytes per second writes but at eight terabytes of storage, it comes in a colossal price compared to the mechanical drive, which is a lot cheaper, as you can see here. Now we can go up to say 14 terabytes of Western Digital Red Plus for 323 pounds, but you're not going to get the performance that you're going to get on an SSD or even a SSD NVMe drive. But what you will get is storage and you'll get it at a lot cheaper price. Now, we already know that an 8 terabyte uh, NVMe drive is going to cost you in the region of 800 odd pounds. And you can see we can go up to 20 terabytes or even 22 terabytes of storage right here for 387 pounds. Now, you're not going to get anywhere near that amount of storage for an SSD or SSD NVMe drive. So there is a massive difference when it comes to pricing and storage. So if you do need a lot of cold storage or just general storage. Data centers will still be using uh, mechanical drives. As you can see, this Sabrent here, this is an 8 terabyte Gen 4, and you can see you're getting good speeds with this. But again, look at the price over a thousand pounds for a 8 terabyte drive. And that's not going to come down just yet. And this could be a good 
five years before we even see a massive drop in pricing. Now, Gen 5 has hit the market, and you can see just for a two terabyte drive that you're getting those whopping speeds of 12,400 megabytes per second, but at 264 pound, that's pretty pricey for just two terabytes. So you're getting the speed, but it comes at a whopping price. And if you go up to four terabytes, you're now talking nearly 500 pounds, which is a lot of money for a drive with only four terabytes of storage. Now, we all know that games take up a lot of storage. And if you're a gamer and you have a mechanical drive, you can fill that drive right up with all your favorite games. And again, if you do have only a few games you'd like to install, you can purchase a four terabyte SSD, which is what you can use for all of your games, which is what I'd advise you to do. And that's what most people do today on their machines. They will put a SSD NVMe drive for their main operating system, and they will stick in a either an SSD in there for storage, or they'll put in another SSD NVMe drive, which is a slower Gen 3 for storage, like I do on my system. So you still get that speed, and you also get the storage. And those prices at the lower levels are still very affordable. But once you start going up the food chain a little bit for storage, the prices go up dramatically. So in my honest opinion, hard drives are still relevant today and they are still going to be relevant for the foreseeable future. Well, for at least a good 10 years, I reckon they're going to still be around. They're not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Data centers are still going to be using the mechanical drives because they're more affordable. And again, until that uh, changes where SSDs or SSD NVMe drive become more affordable for larger storage, then I think the uh, hard drive is going to be sticking around for some years yet. So we know that SSDs have the speed and the IOPS, whereas hard drives have storage and price on their side. So it just comes down to uh, what you need for your needs for your PC. So if you have a NAS, then obviously you're going to be putting mechanical drives in there because they're a lot more affordable, especially if you have a lot of storage that you need to fill up. It doesn't take long to fill up one terabyte nowadays, and it certainly doesn't take long to fill up two terabytes. So if you're looking at having, you know, quite a few terabytes of storage, if you're a content creator like myself and you create loads of videos, then that does take up space very, very quickly. So for all those people that keep telling you that hard drives are obsolete and they're no longer needed, maybe in the modern computer, uh, you can have, say, for instance, an SSD NVMe for your main drive and maybe have an SSD or even another SSD NVMe drive as your storage uh, if you don't need vast amounts of storage. But if you're one of these people that hoards a lot of stuff, downloads a lot of stuff and also has a lot of games installed on their system then hard drive still might be uh, the way to go if you haven't got a lot of money because let's face it if you've got a modern day computer that supports gen 5 and you're putting gen 5 drives in there you're certainly not going to be putting eight terabytes of gen 5 uh, storage in there because the cost of that would be absolutely colossal and even gen 4 the very higher end of gen 4 drives would cost you quite a bit of money for an eight terabyte as we've already seen so i do believe that hard drives still have a place if you do need a lot of cold storage or hard archiving storage i still think they do have a place in uh, our computing lives but how long that will be i don't know maybe probably i would say at least another 10 years because as time goes on storage is going to expand even more on the hard drives we always said that we couldn't push hard drives any more than, say, four or five terabytes, but they're already up to 22 terabytes. And with modern technology and advancements, they could probably even squeeze even more space out of these drives. And it's certainly going to be a long time yet before we start seeing, uh, you know, Gen 5 22 terabyte drives or even Gen 4 22 terabyte drives or even Gen 3 22 terabyte drives at affordable prices. So hard drives are going to be around for quite some time yet. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll be interested to read your comments on whether you use a hard drive still or whether you've moved over to uh, SSD for all of your main operating system and your storage or whether you use SSD NVMEs for your main drive and your main storage. 
I look forward to reading your comments uh, in the comments section. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.